Um, at this time, I'm going to um, ask Councilwoman Sikora Lopu to give her the floor. She has a statement. I do have a statement that I'd like to read. I cannot speak directly to the matters which will be adjudicated in traffic court. Those matters will be addressed at the appropriate time. I can, however, speak to you regarding the court of public opinion. We often utter sentiments about mental health issues, but quite honestly, there is still a stigma that surrounds seeking sanctuary and professional guidance. PTSD, grief, and abuse are very personal, and they're very real. They are not a suffering bound by intelligence or strength. They are not a limit bound in perseverance, accomplishments, or compassion. Some people will judge you, do not let them. Some people will try to exploit you for their own benefit without regard for your well-being. Do not let them, that is their weakness, not yours. I have always been compelled to stay strong for others dealing with the same pain, hoping I could help them endure to help make their hearts hurt just a little less, not realizing the impact it was having on my own. I would carry that weight all over again, but I now know it is not selfish to take care of myself as well. And if my words today resonate with just one person, I'm happy I found the courage to share them with you. To my constituents, family, friends, neighbors, and colleagues of varietal interests, your overwhelming support and outreach of compassionate caring, the support you showed at the polls yesterday, grant me endearing hope that you continue to believe in my commitment to serve you, to serve my community, <laughs> to forge forward with my philanthropic endeavors to help those in need throughout the state and beyond. It is a passion and a responsibility that was deep in my heart always. And under advice of legal counsel, I am not making any other statements or answering any other questions at this time. Thank you. And now we'd like uh, to make a statement on behalf of the city of, of the council. So on behalf of the city council, we are aware of the traffic offenses, including a legal device summons issued to Ms. Coragalquit following the motor vehicle accident on March 8th. Driving under the influence yeah. is a threat to community safety, and we want to stress the seriousness of, seriousness of such actions. Our foremost concern is the well-being and safety of every individual in our community. It is, though, equally important to remember that Mr. Cora Lovewick is entitled to due process and the presumption of innocence until a court decision is made. As we navigate this situation, we must approach this with fairness and respect. <laughs> Allowing the legal system, if you continue behaving that way, I'm gonna ask you to step up, and I don't wanna do that. Thank you. Do whatever you want. Allowing the legal system to take its course and avoid premature judgment. The city council, as is usually our practice, will not entertain any questions or provide further comments on this matter. 